Okay, boys and girls, now we can go ahead and draw our woolly mammoth. So this is my finished example. We are going to start with a black crayon, or if you prefer to start with a pencil, you can. I will use a black crayon so that you can see it. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to start with the hair on the top of my woolly mammoth's head. I'm going to use take my black crayon and do sort of zigzag lines um, and create a shape with that. Okay, I'll go over that a little darker so you can see it. It doesn't have to look exactly any which way, just kind of a messy spot for hair. Then I'm going to come to the edge of the hair and I'm going to do a curving line down. But I'm going to stop because I do need to get the big tusks in there. So now I'll go ahead and do my first tusk. I'm going to do a curving line here and then bring it back in to the mammoth. And then I'm going to do repeat that, rounding it and up. I'm going to connect these lines here. So this will be the spot part that stays white, and this will be the color of the mammoth's fur. I'm going to bring that line just up a little bit more. I can come to this side and do the other tusk that we'll see the top of. So I bring it up and around and down. Now I can extend this um, line here to form the trunk. So I'm going to skip over the tusk because the tusk is going to, I mean the trunk is behind that tusk. So I'm going to skip over it and then I'm going to just keep curving that direction. Now I can do the end of the trunk and then I will bring it back around like that. Now I'm going to come up to the top and do the ear. It's kind of a big, sort of floppy ear. So I'm going to come over and then I'm going to give it a little um, hairy kind of soft texture around it and bring it up. I can now do the eye of my mammoth. So I'm going to do a circle, just one eye because it's looking to the side. It's a profile view, so we just see one eye. And I'm going to do a curved line, and I'll do another circle. So I'm going to leave this spot white and that little circle white, but I'm going to fill this in black. nice big eye there. Now I'm going to come down from the ear and I'm going to do the, the front leg. So I'm going to come down from the ear and I'm going to go behind the trunk and come down a little bit more. Okay, then I can, I'll go ahead and keep going with the, with the legs I guess. I'll go ahead and do a um, curved line slightly curved bottom of the foot. Then I will come up and over. That's his belly. And I'll do another slightly curved line. And I will come up. But I'm going to stop because I do want to get that tail in there. So I think now I'll go towards the top and I will do just a, a pretty straight line, maybe a little curve to it, and kind of round out on the back side. Bring it down and see how I'm a little bit off there? That's good because I'm going to make the tail coming there. And I'll make this tail come from there. 
and I close off the tail. And now I can just do the little end of the tail with what would be the hair down there. And the last thing you could do is if you want to put like little toenails on the front of the feet. Um, I'll also draw a line for the background so that we see the horizon line. So we can have this be um, icy ground and this be the sky. All right, so now that we've drawn the outline and have the basic shape, we can start adding texture with our crayons. I used a variety of um, colors. I used brown, peach, and white. I don't know if my white showed up too much because I didn't really paint too dark, but you're welcome to give it a try. Um, so you'll take your crayons and all over, not, we won't put it on the tusk, the whites of the eye, or the toenails, but all over we're going to do texture to show that this woolly mammoth is in fact pretty woolly and hairy. So I'm going to just do little short lines and they're going in all different directions. So I'll do one color, then I'll switch to another color and just kind of keep filling it in. So if I were to keep, let's say I went all the way with that, then I'd do the same with this peach color and really filling it in, creating that hairy texture. And when you come up into the hair here, you can do that too. You can do it a little different if you want to. I'm doing it a little bit um, darker and a little bit of a different line movement, almost like a zig zigzag lines. So you'll just keep going and filling in all this texture on your woolly mammoth before we go to add our watercolor. Now that I have added that texture, I am almost ready to watercolor. Before I do that, I want to do one more thing with my crayons. I'm going to take my white and just draw, kind of coloring in some spots going horizontal. Oops, picked up a little bit of black there, that's okay. And, oh, broke my crayon. <laughs> um, just do your um, lines kind of going in, and this will help us kind of create the illusion of ice, even when we overlap it with a white, I mean with a light blue. So just kind of filling in, I know you might not be able to see it that good, and that's actually okay, because we just want to get some white in there um, when we do our um, ice. All right, so to, when I go to add my watercolor, I will get my brown for my woolly mammoth, and just go right on top of my crayon. And the crayon will show through, and so you'll still be able to see that texture in there. If you want it darker, you add a little bit more paint and less water. If you want it lighter, you add a little bit more water um, to lighten the watercolor. I'm gonna go a little darker in the hair on the top of the head. And I even, sometimes on the other one, I kind of went around things a little bit darker on the edges. So you'll just fill that all in. And then when you move on to your um, ice, you can use a blue to fill, um, put some blue down there. Um, and your sky can be whatever color that you choose. Here is my finished one again. So we have our textured woolly mammoth on the icy ground. Um, you'll notice that I left the tusks white, the toenails white, and the white of the eyes, uh, of the eye there white. Uh, but anyways, I think that if you um, add plenty of texture, you, you will certainly create a nice furry looking woolly mammoth.